Hello everybody and welcome back to my hair series. So today I am going to be trying robe curls the right way. <laughs> I did try robe curls like eight or nine months ago and they did not turn out very good. I will put images here. They looked kind of okay when I first took them out, but they just proceeded to get very messy and frizzy very quickly. Also, they just didn't look as good as what I'd seen, but I put this down to the fact that my hair was quite short and all one length, whereas a lot of the videos and results that I'd seen were on girls with long hair, with layers, and often highlights, which really like brought out the curls and made them look so much more luscious. So this time, I'm gonna be changing a few things. Obviously, number one, my hair is a lot longer now, Number two, I'm gonna be using a thicker robe this time. I've actually got two thin ones, so I'm actually just going to put them together to make a thicker one. And number three, and perhaps the most important difference, is I'm going to be doing the curls in alternating directions. The best video that I found on it was Shona Scott, so that's the video I'm gonna be following. So first, I'm gonna part my hair. I wonder actually if it's if it's better to do a side parting rather than a middle parting. Do you know what? I'm gonna try a side parting because I have a feeling it might turn out a little better. So I'm gonna put one side of my hair out of the way for now. Apparently it's better to do this on freshly washed and dried hair. I didn't quite have time to wash my hair today, but I washed it yesterday and it's just been uh, roughly blow dried like in a downward motion. That's why it's quite straight. So I'm gonna dampen it. So I've got the middle of the robes, I'm gonna put them in the center of my head. She clips it here. Oh, oh no, wait. I'm gonna try and do this as neat as I possibly can so that I can get the best results possible. Hold on. Oh, oh, oh no, it's a bit difficult with two robes, not gonna lie. Hold on. Okay, see we've got it going in two different directions at the moment. Mm. Get out of the way. We're getting there. Takes a lot of concentration, this. I got it. I know what I'm doing now. By the way, guys, if you're wondering where I got my watch from, uh, it's from Nord Green. They are kindly sponsoring this video. I'll talk a bit about it later, but if you're struggling for gift ideas for him or her, check the description, discount code and link if you want to get a nice watch for any of your family members or yourself. Oh no, these little bits at the end are getting a little bit droopy. Might have to go back a little bit on myself. Okay, yeah, that's done it. Okay, oh my gosh, we're down to the easy part, okay. So now we're just gonna continue to wrap it around. I'm gonna try and wrap these little end bits around as best as I can. I'm gonna secure this with a hairband. Oh, how did she do it? She did something funny. She like, did it like this. Oh yeah, she did it like this. So she didn't have to like pull it through the whole thing. Okay, all right. I hope that is good enough. That looks like I've done it right. I'm pretty proud with that. It's pretty neat. What do you think? It's currently 20 past two, but I'm gonna spend the rest of the day at home with this in my hair, and then I'm gonna sleep in it and show you in the morning. But I'm first just gonna try what Shona did. She actually crosses it at the back. I hope that will stay, those little ties. Brought it up like this and tied it just to keep it like out the way, which I thought was quite a good idea. And that's it. I think she said that she slept with it like down, um, but if you're going about the house, you can wear it up or you can sleep with it up, I guess. I'm gonna wear it like this for the rest of the day and overnight, so I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. As you can see, I took an extra precaution and I wrapped my hair in a silk headscarf to try to preserve the hair as much as I could without it getting frizzy. I also had to clip back my bangs because they kind of came out. Oh dear. Okay, I'm so excited, but I guess we're just gonna take it out. Where's my mirror? Okay, so she says to do it super gently. Ooh, it's looking interesting so far. Whoa. It looks good so far. Whoa. Wow. Oh my God, I'm excited. I'm excited. I tell you what, if this, do you know what I'm gonna do though? I am going to be seeing if this will last for like tomorrow as well. So make sure you watch to the end. God, oh God, no Isabella, don't ruin the curls. So this is what it looks like straight away. Obviously I've got to like zhuzh it up and sort it out a bit. 
Oh my god. So apparently you're supposed to shake it and zhuzh it. Okay, I'm gonna flip my hair over. Whoa, look at my bouncy curls. They literally bounce. How did I put my hair? I feel like the back won't look as good, but I'll give you a look. How does it look? actually looks decent. So pleasantly surprised with how the back looks. It looks pretty cohesive. Now the true test, we're gonna see how it holds up throughout the whole day and I'm also gonna show you what it looks like tomorrow. So make sure you keep watching till the end. So about the watch, if you've been thinking of buying a nice watch for yourself or a loved one, I'm going to tell you why Nordgreen might be the best option to purchase from, especially if you're struggling for gift ideas. Now the beauty of this watch can speak for itself, but what I really want to talk about is how earth conscious and forward thinking Nordgreen is as a company. Nordgreen produces high quality durable watches that are designed to last decades and the sleek and minimal design means they won't be going out of fashion any time soon. Not only that, but they are partnered with non-government organizations to support urgent global causes. For example, they provided more than 9,950 meals to people in need during Christmas 2019, and they contributed towards the reforestation after Australia's devastating bushfires last year. They are a carbon neutral company, which means they plant thousands of trees to offset their carbon emissions, and they're in Copenhagen, which is considered to be one of the greenest cities in the world. They're packaging comes from responsibly managed forests and the felt inside the boxes is formed using upcycled plastic bottles and they are working on transitioning to 100% recycled packaging. There's so much more that they do for the environment including their giving back scheme where a portion of your purchase price can go to one of their three charities. So if you're going to buy a watch I would highly recommend purchasing from a company that are supporting the environment therefore Nordgreen would be an excellent choice. I am so happy to promote Nordgreen and of course you can get a discount with my code and make sure to use the link in the description. And here's your daily reminder to recycle. Thank you Nordgreen, I love my watch and on with the video. Bear in mind I don't have hairspray. I only have some hair serum but honestly I don't think it needs it right now. Look at that! Are you? This hair is good, okay. But we need to sort out. It's a little flat because obviously the band was laying flat across my head. So I feel like wherever you part it, you wanna actually, when you wear it, do it on the other parting so you get a little bit of um, volume. Also, my hair up here is super greasy, so I might have to do something about that with some dry shampoo, but holy moly. Can you, can you imagine if my hair was a bit longer, how gorgeous this would look? I can't believe it worked. My, my bra is showing. I've just washed and dried just my like fringe at the front here and I can't really get it to sit right. <sighs> I've just got back from the gym. <laughs> so it was a bit rainy outside, I did have an umbrella. I had my hair up in a ponytail, not bad. Curls are still intact. I didn't do a lot of like cardio and jumping about. I was doing like arms. So I was staying pretty still most of the time. There's a little bit of Funny business going on here. This little bit has strayed from the crowd. And my fringe is starting to settle down, so it's getting a little frizzy, but that's kind of expected. Putting on coats and hats and going to the gym, but overall it still looks all right. Good morning, it's the next day. I've taken my hair out already this morning. I wear it in a bun to bed, but it kind of fell out during the night and I was moving around quite a bit. So I feel like I've ruined it. But let's just take a look at it without me doing anything to it. Freshly woken up. Oh, they don't look too bad. I'm actually really pleasantly surprised. I think they actually look better than yesterday. I feel like they've kind of dropped a little bit. Obviously they're messier, but they're not actually too bad. Like when I do my natural, my natural waves curly girl method, they tend to be super duper frizzy. But like, they're still, pretty defined and for my hair type that's like a big achievement my hair's getting a bit greasy but i'm just gonna see i'm gonna add a little bit of serum and see if that can tame the frizz i'm actually gonna wash my hair today so there's not a whole lot of point in applying this serum but i just want to show you if i were to wear this hair today oh 
OMG, this looks so freaking good. I think this might be my new thing. I also, what I forgot to mention was that I did use a, a really good deep conditioner the day before. Okay, so if I were to be wearing this hair today, this is probably how I would leave it. Obviously, greasy at the roots, but I'm gonna wash it. If you liked the video, please give it a like. It really helps me out. And don't forget to check out Nord Green Watches if you are struggling for gift ideas or if you wanna buy yourself a nice watch. Subscribe if you would like to see more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.